This is your host, Quasar Raspel, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. In the last episode, we defeated Darkseid and found our way to Traverse Town, and we were also ambushed by Leon, who is apparently now our friend. Because, <laughs> you know, we're accepting like that. Sooner or later, the Heartless will find you. You best prepare yourself. Prepare myself? To fight for your life, are you ready? Not yet. Couple things, though. Or actually, mostly just one. I learned this ability yesterday, Stun Impact, an ability that allows me to have 30% chance upon finishing a combo attack that renders surrounding enemies unconscious. Good for stunning enemies. Not the best for bosses, because most of them, well, are immune, but it creates a nice area of effect attack, so it's very handy early on. Are you ready? Yep. You know, between games, I... Or in between episodes, I actually thought to myself, who were Selfie, Waka... Oh, that's Carlos, by the way. Yuffie! Go! Oh! Yuffie! That looked painful. Sora, let's go! <laughs> I'm sure he's fine. But I've determined that Selfie, Waka, and Titus are probably hobos on that island. Just thought. I mean, they didn't have boats to leave, so clearly they were there, and there's no rent to pay, so they're hobos. Come on. Anyway, introducing a new type of enemy, or one we've seen before but never fought yet, the Soldier. Fairly standard enemy, cannot phase into the ground like Shadows can, but they're a lot more powerful. Ultimately, a good fight. Obviously not not easy in there. See, he's completely unconscious. He's actually not... Because it's a standard enemy, he's probably not going to get up for quite some time. Hey. Hey, uh, soldier man. You, you okay there? Yeah, I didn't think so. Come on. So, pretty good ability to have early on. The staff has some more interesting abilities that I usually... You know, as I've said, I've never beaten... Oh, we got a protect chain out of him. That's a rare find. Hope that keeps up. Slap that on Sora. Give me a little bit more defense. That's what I get for discarding the shield. But the staff, it's quite interesting. Like, as I've said before, I've never been in the game with a staff. And this is my favorite series of all time, so I thought, why not? Let's do that at least special for the people at home. Isn't that right, everyone? I hope you appreciate for what I do for you. Yeah, would you like a pat on the back? Too rough? Okay. Now, the game didn't give a clear direction of where to go, but... I guess I might as well say, we're heading all the way over to the 3rd District. Come on! Oh, come on! These guys give pretty good experience for the early levels. Well, experience compared to how difficult they are to kill. And especially with that attack, you don't even have to worry about some of them. Hmm? Oh, I must have missed one. Thirty percent chance? Looking pretty lucky to me. Although it's not as powerful as your normal finisher, it gives that nice ability. Plus, it can be stopped. I think it might give as much... It doesn't do as much as some of the later finishers, like Blitz, or... I know there's at least one other finisher for that's magic-based. But it's very nice to have... Uh, but it's better than nothing. And it's a 30% chance, so no big deal. Anyway, we're on our way to 3rd District, and let's see what we find, shall we? Oh. Gorge, are these the heartless guys? Let's go get them! Go see! Well, 
Well, that worked out spectacularly. Like I have Donald and Goofy next to me, and we're gonna be taking out some Heartless. Die, soldiers! Oh, thanks, Donald. Ow. Well, that worked out fabulously. Why, hello there. Seems he got ahead in this fight. Sorry, bad pun. Introducing Guard Armor. Now, for those of you familiar with uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 for the PlayStation 2, this is not the normal Guard Armor, as you can tell, obviously. The normal Guard Armor is, well, purple. And this one seems far more American. Oh god. He mostly deals with area of effect attacks, jumping. His arms can swing around and punch you. His feet can stomp on the ground and he can jump up into the air to slam down on you. Which is pretty much his most devastating attack. Each body part can handle alone. Each body part can work alone, but if you destroy the main body, you win the fight automatically. But in this fight, if you defeat the, uh, if you defeat every part, then you get HP orbs, which will help out during the fight. But because uh, I don't have too much defense, I thought utilizing the... Oh, he's about to separate, I think. No, he was about to join. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's best to destroy the arms first, because without, because with the legs, uh, he won't be able to sp spin those arms, and everything is separate now. Whoa. His torso does the most damage, though, when solo, if I recall that correctly. Heal, 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 heal. Whoa. And its, and its attack when solo is that it's able to spin around crazily. Come on, show it. That's not it. Here it goes. Ah! Actually, that probably didn't do as much as I thought. Cool, guys. Don't look at explosions. It seems it lost its heart at the end of that. And with a nice shimmering defeat, we obtain the Brave Warrior. And we get a cutscene. So, you were looking for me? Mm -hmm. They too have been seeking the wielder of the Keyblade. Hey, why don't you come with us? We can go to other worlds on our vessel. I wonder if I could find Riku and Kairi. Of course. Are you sure? Who knows? But we need them to come with us to help us find the king. Sora, go with them. Especially if you want to find your friends. Yeah, I guess. But you can't come along looking like that. Understand? Ooh. No fighting, no side friends, okay? Yeah, you gotta look funny. Like us. <laughs> yep. Whoa. This boat runs on happy faces. Happy? Yo! <laughs> 
That's one funny place. Okay, why not? I'll go with you guys. Name's Goofy. I'm Sora. All for one, one for all. Well, now that that an extremely awkward moment is over, we have now teamed up with Donald and Goofy. And we get another cutscene. This game's full of them. That little squirt took down that heartless. Who'd have thought it? Such is the power of the Keyblade. The child's strength is not his own. Why don't we turn him into a heartless? Ha ha ha! That'll settle things quick enough. And the brat's friends are the king's lackeys. Swung on the ice, they're all built rats by the look of them. You're no prize yourself. <laughs> Shut up! Enough! The Keyblade has chosen me. Will it be he who conquers the darkness? Or will the darkness swallow him? Either way, he could be quite useful. Hmm. Seems we got our own League of Evil after us. Interesting. How are they able to monitor us? I'm just going to assume magic, and not secret cameras everywhere. Make sure you're prepared for the journey ahead of you. We don't know how far the Heartless have spread. Check out the shops here, they've got some pretty neat stuff. This is from all of us. 500 money! It's actually not too much. Spend it as you see fit. And this is from Leon. You like, sir? Thanks, Leon. Good luck! I hope you find your friends. Look out for each other. Keep your spirits up. The gummy ship is outside that gate. And we can teleport to the gummy ship now using a save point. The what? That's our ship. Wait, you'll see it. Hold on. Sora, this is for you. Attain the power of fire. Learn magic spell, fire! And now we're able to cast fire as much as we want. Well, until the MP runs out. And using ethers or ethers, striking enemies replenishes MP. Now you can use magic too! Goofy, give him that other thing. What? You know. Oh yeah. And Sora learned dodge roll. We can activate abilities by equipping them like I showed earlier. Abilities allow you to do all sorts of things. Guess we should look for them along the way, huh? Okay, is that it? Let's get going. Not till we're ready. Well, I see big adventures coming along, coming their way. Looks like it's up to me to keep track of it all in my journal. Yep, and now we can also access Jiminy's journal. Something we won't be seeing too often. Hopefully. <laughs> and we also got Dodge Roll now. A very useful ability that I believe they should have given you from the start of the game. It allows you to dodge out of opponent's attacks and, and gives you a couple of invulnerability frames if I remember correctly. Hey, look at this mark! I wonder what it is. This is a trendy mark. They appear in many places. Only the blue ones react in the beginning. Sora, Donald, and Goofy can perform various trinity moves beside these marks. So let's show this one because it's blue. Activating the trinity jump, it teleports us up here. Up here, we can get ourselves a postcard. Yes, we can mail things. And right beside the starting gate, there's another blue trinity mark. Now, they're not all over the place set here at the beginning, but there's only like, what, 12 of them? Ah, 
said I wouldn't check the journal, but here I am looking at it. There's 17 of them. I am dead wrong every time. Anyway, with these postcards, we can go to this mail. And if we send 10 of them, we'll get all the prizes. But for saying the first one, we get ourselves a cottage. While we're here, we might as well get, check out what else there is. There's also a red trinity mark back here. But like they said, we can only use blue ones right now. You get more by completing the story. Over here, there's another postcard. I'll probably collect all the postcards later. This isn't the only time we're going to be coming to Traverse Town. But it is a good idea to walk around here at the beginning because after you defeat um, after you defeat the big heartless, the world is pretty much safe, if I remember correctly. Oh god, please tell me I'm remembering correctly. Hey, it's Leon. This is the puppy's home. When their world disappeared, they were torn away f from their families and scattered to other worlds. I bet the little guys are terrified. They must be. Sora, I'm counting on you. So apparently Leon wants us to go find the puppies. The 99 puppies were lost amid the chaos of their world's destructions. Find them in various worlds. Hmm. You know, that's the first time I actually remember them talking about it was their world's destruction that caused it. To be honest, I thought they blamed it on the Heartless before. Then again, the Heartless must have done that. But anyway, the puppies are located in random chests throughout the worlds. Including a couple in this one, which I think with Leon's passion he would have found, but... Eh, can't blame the guy for... Can't blame the guy for everything, I guess. Oh. Yeah, I got up here. And we get another postcard. So with three postcards, I think we're good for now. Let's go on and mail these suckers. Otherwise, we've pretty much done most of what we can in Traverse Town. Actually, wait, there's still one more thing I want. Anyway, I got a Mithril Shard and a Mega Potion. There's still one more pretty important thing you should do here while you're at Traverse Town. You see, there's actually a shortcut between the third and the first district, so you don't have to walk all the way around every single time doing it. And also, while we're out there is a... There is a... What am I trying to say? Trinity Mark at the 3rd District also. So, it's not terrible getting absolutely everything. Or being... Or... Yeah. Words will come out of my mouth eventually. Anyway, this door is currently closed off, by if, but if we activate this giant keyhole... We'll activate it. Now it will lead to the first district. Very nice shortcut. You, you'll use it throughout the entire game. Since there are no Heartless around, it's the best time to use it, and the Trinity Mark is located up here. Trinity Jump! What do we have? A camping set. What's the difference between a camping set and a cottage? I completely forget. Camping set. Restores all HP and 3 MP of each party member. Can only be used from the menu. So basically, if you can't find a save point and you're really dying, you, you can use it. And then this one, then the cottage fully restores HP and MP. So they're not terrible, but the thing is, I beat the game on proud mode, and I never like that's the hardest difficulty setting. I never. Beat it. I never used a single. I never used a single cottage, or camping set ever. They're pretty useless, to be honest. And lastly, we have the item shop here. Here you can see. Here you can see Sora's weight is. Eh. And also, you can talk to Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and whichever one 
and which one is which, uh, good luck to you. But anyway, if you lock onto the fan and smack it, you can get another postcard. Yay, postcards! But more importantly from here, you can also get you can also get weapons for Donald and Goofy. I highly recommend getting the Morning Star and Smasher. The Stout Shield, while it costs the same as the Smasher, it's mostly the same power of attack. It's just a bigger shield so it can withstand more hits. And the Warhammer is for a more physical attack Donald, but he's more useful casting spells. And unlike in Kingdom Hearts Free Chain of Memories, he won't use spells to heal enemies most of the time. He's actually smart in this game. I've complained about that way too much, though. So, quickly, we'll get rid of their dumb, uh, mage's... Hey, you know this mage's staff that hides your magic power and was probably given to you when you became the castle's mage? Yeah, you can just throw that away. You know this knight's shield? That's your standard knight, what you got for being captain of the royal guard? Yeah, here you go, it's a smasher, it triples your attack power. It, well, turns from one to three, doesn't exactly triple. But ultimately, that's everything there is, and you can't buy Keyblades, unfortunately. We'll get to that later, though. If you want, you can buy some... You can buy some accessories for Donald and Goofy, but honestly, equipping them... You most of the time just want to give them the leftovers. Such as this Brave Warrior increases my HP and strength. I'm going to equip that immediately. And Donald, you can have a Protect Chain. You'll end the game with so many, so many accessories, you'll give them something. So, with all that being said, next time on Let's Play Kingdom Hearts, we're going to be exiting Traverse Town and going to the next new world. See you guys then. This has been your host, Cosa Raspel, signing out.